question number seven. Now on the board, we are asked to solve. We are asked to solve three x open bracket three open another bracket one plus s close bracket minus two x close bracket equal to three. These guys, this is still equation bracket. Now what do we do? We put down our solution. Then repeat the question, 3x minus square bracket, open bracket, 3, 1 plus x, close bracket minus 2x, or in square bracket equal to 3. So the first thing you will do in this case is to first of all remove the bracket. And where, how do we start removing the bracket? We start removing the bracket from the smaller bracket, which are what? The internal bracket inside the square bracket. That's where our solving is going to start from all right guys now what do we do here this will have given us 3x remove the brackets then we have 3x minus open bracket 3 times 1 guys you're going to have 3 and 3 times x you are going to have 3x then minus 2x into the big bracket equal to what 3 then the next is what we have 3x minus open bracket 3 now 3x minus 2x guys will give us 1x plus 1x is equal to 3 then the next thing we are quickly going to do here guys is to what remove this square bracket and understand that before the square bracket we have minus 1 here there is an invisible 1 in front of this bracket so we are going to be using the multiplication factor here as minus 1 hope that is taken yes Anytime you have a bracket and nothing is in front of the bracket, it therefore means that, that the multiplication factor there is minus 1. Therefore, we are going to use minus 1 to open this bracket. Guys, when we have 3x minus 1 times 3, we are going to have minus 3. And minus 1 times plus x, we are going to have minus x equal to 3. The next thing, guys, we are quickly going to do now is to watch collect like terms. And then we are going to have... Collection of like terms, collect like terms. And by this, we are going to have 3x. Of course, we know that the variables are already at the left-hand side. They are not moving from left to right or right to left. So the variables all are already at the left-hand side. All we just need to do is to rearrange. So we are going to have this as minus x equal to 3 plus. Now, understand that this 3 is this. Then when we move minus 3 from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, rule number 3 must be obey, which states that negative turns to positive. Then we are going to have this as plus 3. Now, when we remove x from 3x, guys, we are going to have 2x. Therefore, we put down 2x is equal to 3 plus 3, guys, we have 6. Then the next thing we do is that we are going to quickly divide both sides by the coefficient of x, right? By the coefficient of x. And what's the coefficient of x here? That's 2. So we say divide both sides, both sides by 2. Then we are going to have 2x over 2 is equal to 6 over 2, guys. 2 divided by 2, we have x, and 6 divided by 2, we have 3. Guys, this is as simple as this. So the very next thing we are quickly going to do now is to head on to the next page of our board and look at question number 8, then provide the solution to this very question number 8. Guys, now, in question number 8, we are asked to solve 7 open bracket 5m minus 4 close bracket minus 10 open bracket 3m minus 2 close bracket all equal to 0 guys this is equation with brackets now we have two brackets here all we need to do is to still follow the processes we have been following since the beginning of this particular segment of linear equation which is what equations with brackets there guys we have our solution here so what do we do? We put down 7 open bracket 5m minus 4 minus 10 open bracket 3m minus 2 all equal to 0. Then guys, we remove the brackets. Remove the brackets. Now, what do we do to remove the bracket? The next thing we do is to identify the multiplication factors. Now, for the first bracket, the multiplication factor here is 7. Why for the second bracket, the multiplication factor there is minus 10, guys. Hope that is taken on the end. We have 7 times 5m, guys. This will give us 35m. And 7 times minus 4, it will give us minus 28. Now we are done opening the first bracket. Is that correct? Now we move to the next bracket. The next bracket, we are going to be using minus 10. 
to what remove the bracket then we have minus 10 times 3m guys we are going to have minus 30m and minus 10 times minus 2 we are going to have plus 20 guys don't forget that minus times minus is plus are we there yes then 10 times 2 is 20 then we have equal to zero now when we look at this equation it looks as all the major terms that we have in this question they are all to the left hand side right so what we just need to do now is to collect like terms as usual like i explained earlier in equations with brackets you will only perform three operations one is to remove the brackets second is to what collect like terms and the third is to divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable if any now let's head on to step number two so we now say collect like terms and as usual by collection of like terms, we simply means that all variables should be left to the left hand side and all the constants should be taken to the right hand side these are it is so when we are collecting like terms we should know what we are up to what we are up to here is that the variables should be arranged only at the left hand side while the constants should occupy the right hand side without missing them up now what are we going to do now we are going to look at this equation and put down the variables at the left hand side guys now what do we do here the first variable here is 35m so put down 35m then the next variable here is minus 30m and understand that 35 and 30m they are all at the left hand side that means none of their signs will change go hope you have gotten that yes none of their signs will change because they are not crossing from left to right, neither are they crossing from right to left. In as much as they were already at the left hand side and they are still maintaining the left hand side, none of their signs will change. Now, if this is taken, then we can put down minus 30 n. Now we are done with all the variables that we are permitted to put down the equality sign. Now that we have put down the equality sign, the next thing we do is to now pull down the constants at the right hand side. The first constant that we have at the right hand side is zero. Of course, zero is nothing. But let's acknowledge the presence of zero here okay now the next thing that we do is we come the first constants here that we have very in this very equation is minus 28 guys when minus 28 crosses the sign of the quality rule number three must be obeyed then we are going to have this as plus 28 now the next constant that we have at the left hand side that we are still going to move to the right hand side is plus 20 guys when plus 20 crosses the sign of the quality rule number two must be obeyed and rule number two states Anytime a positive sign crosses the sign of the equality, it inevitably turns toward negative sign. Hope this is taken. Then we are going to have minus 20. Guys, it's as simple as this. All we need to do now is to remove 13m from 35m. I mean, removing 30 million from 35 million. And then we are going to have this as what? Well, 5m. 5 million. Then the next thing we do is to remove 20 from 28. And when we remove 20 from 28, guys, we are going to have 8. And when we add 8 to 0, it will still give us 8. That means at the right hand side, the outcome is 8. The next thing we do, guys, is to divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable, which happens to be the third step. Now we now say, okay, divide both sides by 5. Now we are going to have 5m over 5 is equal to 8 over 5. Now 5 divided by 5 will give us 1. Then we are going to have 1m is equal to now. At this point where we are, we are dividing 8 by 5. Of course you know that 8 is not directly divisible by 5. So the only thing we are going to do now is to put this expression in what? In a mixed fraction, in as much as the numerator is bigger than the denominator, therefore, there are numbers of times the denominator can enter the numerator. So we now find how many times will 5 enter into 8 is 1, guys. So put down 1. Then the next thing you do now is to multiply 5 by 1. When you multiply 5 by 1, you are going to have 5. Then remove that result, which is 5, from the numerator. When we remove it from the numerator, we are going to have 3. Then put down the existing denominator. Hope this is gotten yes. To get your missed fraction, the first thing you do is to find the number of times the denominator will enter the numerator. Put that value down. Once you get that value, which is 1 in this case, then multiply this 1 you just got by the denominator. 
And when you multiply it by the denominator, whatever outcome you have, remove it from the original numerator. Are we there? So after removing it from the original numerator, the outcome you have there will now serve as your new numerator while the denominator remains unchanged. Guys, we have come to the end of solving problems on equation with brackets. The next aspect of it we are going to veer into now, dive into, is equations with fraction. Guys, I know many of us are willing and ready to enter into another realm where we'll be giving you the principles, see the mysteries, and demystify problems using the wise master's approach as solving linear equations with bracket. Guys, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not done so. So very next class where we will be demystifying equations with practice.